Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Now in today's video, we will be discussing how to rebloom Denjobium phalaenopsis orchids. So please stay tuned. Now these orchids are very easy to care for and rebloom. Unlike the phalaenopsis orchids that require a certain temperature to rebloom, there are no tricks to induce blooming in the Dendrobium phalaenopsis orchid. However, there are certain factors that can contribute to them blooming. Okay, so these factors include light, water, and fertilizer. Now these orchids enjoy a lot of sunlight. So if you are growing your Dendrobium phalaenopsis orchid on the inside, ensure that it is near a window where it can receive some amount of sunlight throughout the day. A lack of light can cause the flower spike to have less buds. It can also cause the orchid to have less flower spikes. And sometimes no spikes at all. So I believe that light is one of the most important factors in reblooming the Jubium phalaenopsis orchid. During their growing season, they usually require more water. But because my Dendrobium phalaenopsis orchids are always producing new growth and blooming, I water them when I see that the medium is dry. That's two to three times each week. This also helps them in producing huge and multiple flower spikes. So please ensure that you water these orchids, especially if the time is hot and dry. Another important factor in reblooming these orchids is fertilizing them. For growth, I use a high nitrogen fertilizer, which is 20-20-20 and the bloom booster to promote blooms. I use these two fertilizers to fertilize my orchid two times each month. Your orchids will grow more vigorously if they are fertilized, so you are encouraged to fertilize your orchids. A good fertilizing routine will help you to have long sprays of flowers on your orchid and also allow the orchid to produce more flower spikes. Temperature wise, these orchids are really tolerant. They love and do very well in warm temperature. I am not sure if the temperature affects the bloom but as you can see here in Jamaica, in my warm climate, they are doing super well for me. They bloom for me when a new cane matures and the old canes also produce blooms. So you are encouraged not to cut your old canes because they do bloom again. The more canes you have in your flower spot, the more flower spikes you are likely to have. Now normally, Dendrobium phalaenopsis orchids bloom two times each year 
but my orchids bloom all year round on these type of orchids the flower spike normally comes from the top of the cane but they do produce flower spike from the side of the canes also An added bonus in growing these orchid guys is that some of them are fragrant. They are available in a range of colors. So I would encourage you to purchase yourself one because they are very easy to care for. Now guys, do you notice that this flower spike is producing an offshoot? This is the first time this is happening and yes, I am loving it. Okay guys, that's about it on how to rebloom the Dendrobium Philonopsis orchids. As you can see, it is really, really easy. Just pay attention to providing your orchids with bright light ensure to water your orchids whenever needed and use a good fertilizer to fertilize your orchids i hope you enjoyed learning about these type of orchids and that you will go out and purchase yourself one Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. God bless. Bye.